August 2nd, The Teaching of Adversity In the world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world. John 16, verse 33. The typical view of the Christian life is that it means being delivered from all adversity, but it actually means being delivered in adversity, which is something very different. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. No evil shall befall you, nor any plague will come near your dwelling. Psalm 91, verses 1 and 10. The place where you are at one with God. If you are a child of God, you will certainly encounter adversities. But Jesus says you should not be surprised when they come. In the world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. He is saying, there is nothing for you to fear. The same people who refuse to talk about their adversities before they were saved often complain and worry before being born again because they have the wrong idea of what it means to live the life of a saint. God does not give us overcoming life. He gives us life as we overcome. The strain of life is what builds our strength. If there is no strain, there will be no strength. Are you asking God to give you life, liberty, and joy? He cannot unless you are willing to accept the strain. And once you face the strain, you will immediately get the strength. Overcome your own timidity and take the first step. Then God will give you nourishment. To him who overcomes, I will give to eat from the tree of life. Revelation 2 verse 7. If you completely give of yourself physically, you become exhausted. But when you give of yourself spiritually, you get more strength. God never gives us strength for tomorrow or for the next hour, but only for the strain of the moment. Our temptation is to face adversities from the standpoint of our own common sense. But a saint can be of good cheer, even when seemingly defeated by adversities, because victory is absurdly impossible to everyone except God.